What you're seeing on screen is Star Citizen 3.11 running on a 2018 Mac Mini. And this Mac Mini does have an RX 580 as an eGPU, but that GPU in itself is not impressive. And especially hooked up to a Mac running Windows through Boot Camp with an eGPU which isn't even supposed to work. This is pretty impressive. And this is an update to an old video and like the old video I want to preface this with the fact that this is a work machine. I didn't buy this to play games. I do have to have a Mac for reasons that I don't care to explain but just trust that I have to have this. This is not a gaming machine. I know that. People in the comments will know that. Don't attack each other over it. Mac, PC, whatever you like, you like. That's okay. Uh, so now I'm going to show you how this runs because I got a question in the comment of my last video. Does it still run? Yes. The, the quick and dirty answer is yes, it does still run. And it runs fine most of the time in terms of this being a low-end computer. Yeah, it runs fine. The Mac Mini itself has issues on Windows because it's not supposed to work with an eGPU on Windows. But once you get the machine running, the game works fine. We're gonna go to Port Alisar. That was very quick. They upped the spool up, or they shortened the spool up time in this update. So this will give you an idea how it performs. And oh my goodness. I forgot I did not have the dampeners on. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Anyways, we're gonna go fly around Alasar real quick just to give you a, a little bit of a frame rate reference. And I'm gonna jump to a moon. So, like, it's not great, of course, but I don't think a Windows machine running an RX 580 would be great either. I'm going to jump to a moon. Obstructed. Why is that obstructed? Can it become unobstructed? I'm going to go to yellow. There we go. And also in this update, they changed some of the stuff for the moons. They changed the ground somehow. I don't really know how. I haven't been to a moon yet. I guess I could do that for this update. I mean, for this video. But here you see the asteroid field around Yilva. Of which Grim Hex is a part of somewhere. So we can find something to jump to in here. Sun is super bright. Grim Hex. I might get blown up doing this. Because there's so much violent activity in this update. Good lord. So, uh. Yeah, not entirely smooth. Okay. I'm gonna just. Okay. We're gonna die. Okay, I don't know how to fight. I don't know how these things work. I just mine. Leave me alone.
Why can't I lock target on this person? It won't let me. Okay, well, rip. I figured that would get me killed. Okay. Well, now we'll get to see inside Port Alasar and you'll see how it performs there. Maybe. Okay. So, performances are honestly is about the same as last time. I think the game overall has gotten better. Like this thing seems smoother. The frame rate is pretty, it, it's fine most of the time for low end machine, but there's stutters like that. And I'm not sure if the recording will be as smooth as the gameplay. I am recording this with OBS with CPU encoding, which is even more impressive. I'm doing that due to the fact that for boot camp issues in Mac OS, all that, the, the, the official AMD driver doesn't work right. So I'm having to use the one that uh, Windows Update pulls because that's the one that like functions properly. I don't know. It's really weird. But yep, that was your performance preview of Star Citizen 3.11 in 2020 on a 2018 Mac Mini.